Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jen Rosenbaum, breast cancer survivor, portrait photographer, and the author of the new book, What the F Just Happened? A Survivor's Guide to Life After Breast Cancer. <laughs> so I wanted to come to you guys today and give you a little bit of a surgery, post-surgery update. It's been a while. So if anyone's been following my journey, you know that I had a bilateral mastectomy in August of 2017. In March of 2018, I had reconstruction surgery where I had implants put in under the muscle and then in November 2019 I had my implants exchanged to over the muscle and a different profile and now here we are in April 2020 and I had the surgery I didn't say much about it because I kind of wanted to see where it fell but a lot of you have been asking me am I happy was it worth it um, so I wanted to address that and talk about it just a little bit so was it worth it? Yes, of course it's worth it <laughs> when you don't feel yourself and uh, you want to change something and you feel like you could look better a different way. So was it worth it? Yes. I, I have to say I am more comfortable physically with the implants over the muscle versus under the muscle. But before you go run and tell your doctor this is what you want just because Jen said it, let me tell you there are a few things I do miss. For example, I have even less feeling now in my chest. So prior, if somebody touched me on my chest or um, I, there was some pressure, I could feel it more because the muscle was right there. Now it's mostly just implants. So I feel even less than I did before, which is a little bit of a bummer, I can't lie. But things like exercise and arm movement are a lot easier now that the implants are over the muscle. And every doctor does it a little differently. So you really need to talk to your doctor and see what the best option is for you and your body. But I do like it better over the muscle personally. The problem is um, I have a lot of rippling and I'll see if I can show that to you guys a little bit. I have a lot of rippling and I'm still not really happy with the positioning and um, the fat grafting didn't really stick. So. Out of curiosity, I saw another plastic surgeon and that plastic surgeon took out markers and rulers and started marking me up and measuring everything, something that had never happened to me before, and let me know that my implants are still really not in the right place. They're not the right implant still and they need to be exchanged and we need to build sort of like, I like to call it the fort that will hold my implants in place to where they need to be. So. As of right now, I am scheduled to do the surgery again in July, even though I swore I was never gonna do it again <laughs> because it is a very difficult surgery. Um, but I am scheduled to do it again in July. Will it happen? I don't know, excuse me, we have a visitor. Hey. Um, will it happen? I'm not exactly sure. With everything going on right now with coronavirus, um, I may speak to the doctor and offer up the spot for somebody that needs a surgery that's more urgent than mine, but at some point I will have surgery again to fix this. Now, some of you out there are probably saying, is she nuts? <laughs> like, what are you expecting, perfection? No, I'm not expecting perfection, but it really doesn't look good. It's really not in the right place. It's really uncomfortable in clothing. I'm still in that same position as I was the first time. The shape is better. The positioning is a little bit better as, as far as like them being more in. They were like in my armpits before, so the positioning is more comfortable. But as far as looks are concerned, it's really not much better. So this is this is what we need to go through, right? This is part of the journey and I'm just hoping, I said to the doctor, this is it, you get one shot and then I'm done. Um, but I'm gonna try to show you guys a little bit of the rippling if I can. And it's more obvious when I lean over, if you can see, there is some rippling there. Uh, I'm just kind of leaning over to show you, but it, it does happen um, like times when I move my arms, you see it's very hollow in this area. Part of that is because I had such a severe mastectomy. My cancer was really high here, so they took all the tissue out. Oops, sorry. They took all the tissue out up here. So I had a very severe mastectomy, and it's very hard to fill in that area, which is why the implant actually needs to be raised. So I'll show you. The implant is now here. It really should be more like here. So that gives me a little bit more of a natural slope versus this. You see how low down they are? They really need to be here. That's a big difference. That's not like, you know, oh, a little adjustment. That's a really, really big difference. So that's what I'm slated to do in July, along with another fat grafting. Again, will it happen? I'm not really sure. I'm trying to just let the universe decide if it's the right time for me or not. And if it's not, I will do it another time, but it will get done again. And I would love to make a video for you guys um, showing the different images of my breasts from mastectomy to now. I think it's really important to show people that are going through the process what it actually looks like 
good, bad, and ugly, <laughs> and beautiful sometimes. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know and I will do that for my next video. Um, and I hope you guys are doing right with this coronavirus and everything and I hope you're staying home, staying safe, especially those of you out there that are undergoing cancer treatment right now. Please know my prayers are with you. Um, and I'm here, I'm home, and I'd love to make you guys more videos. So please let me know what you want to see and uh, you can private message me, you can leave comments wherever you're watching this video. I will get them and uh, I will make videos for you. So. I look forward to hearing from you. Also, make sure you check out jenrosemount.com. That's where you can find all the information about my Facebook group and my new book and the whole nine. So uh, you guys are awesome. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home, and I will talk to you soon.